Oh yeah. Hey. She's on fire. Mm. Mm. She's on fire. It starts with a spark and ends with a flame. Hey. It starts with a spark and ends with a flame. Where my trailblazers at? It starts with a spark and ends with a flame. She's on fire. She's on fire. So I am back in my coaching seat. And I just wanted to share a snippet from my message in DC. The first thing is, I want to ask you the question. What aspect of your personality needs to come forward in order to lead you through this moment of difficulty, in order to lead you through adversity, in order to lead you through complexity? There is a new part of you that needs to emerge if you're going to overcome this obstacle. And one of my new favorite underdogs is Wilma Rudolph, one of the fastest women runners of all time. But what I found extremely interesting was her backstory on the way to be great. On the way to be great, there is a process, cultivation of potential. Well, Wilma was born the 20th, 20th child of 22 children. She was the 20th. She was born prematurely. If that wasn't enough, she had double pneumonia and scarlet fever, a deadly combination that left her paralyzed in her left leg. The doctor said she would never walk, let alone run normally. But she had a voice of affirmation in her ear. Her mother told her, well, my baby, you can be anything you want to be in life as long as you have faith, courage, persistence, and an indomitable spirit. Mm. Faith, courage, persistence, and an indomitable spirit. We call that audacity. When you look your fears in the face and say you will not keep me in cage, when you look every single struggle in the eye and say, I will soar. When you look at your naysayers and say, how you like me now? <laughs> you thought it was going down. Well, holding on to her mother's words, one day Wilma took that iron leg brace off and she started developing her rhythmic stride. And by the time she was 13, entering high school, she entered every single race and lost every single race. Wilma was losing so bad, her friend said, just quit already. It's too much to bear. We can't watch you lose anymore. But what they did not know that Wilma was holding a vision inside of her mind's eye that she was going to be the world's fastest female runner. She wouldn't let go of the vision. And she just kept entering race after race till one day she came in second to last. Sometimes all you need is just a glimmer of hope because it starts with a spark and it ends with a flame. And then there was another great day that came and she finally won a race and she never looked back. Fast forward, she finds herself at the Olympics competing against the fastest female runner at that time, Judda Heiner. The 100 meter dash, she beats Judda. The, set, the 200 meter dash, she beats Judda. Until they get to the 400 meter relay. The first person passes the baton. The second person passes the baton. The third person that was going to pass the baton to Wilma drops the baton. And let me put a pin right there because somebody's going to drop the baton on you. Now, Wilma could have ruminated and said, oh gosh, I've lost it because Judda began to jet off. How in the world am I going to catch this fast woman who always, already has a lead weight? But within seconds, she began to run for her life <sighs> until she beat Judda. Will Ma, will Ma be proud? You've got to connect to a cause that's bigger than 
any obstacle. Because a life without cause is a life without effect. How effective are you going to be in your talent, in your gifting, in your leadership? On today, I want to remind you that it starts with the spark and it ends with the flame. It starts with the spark and it ends with the flame. It starts with the spark and it ends with the flame. I can remember when I was a child recording for a friend girl and I was telling her about the new lunch bar and I was fast with the tongue. I was practicing way back then at age eight. I said, I got a nacho bar, a salad bar, a potato bar, and a slushy machine. <laughs> Listen, who you are is who you be. You don't have to be anybody else but your best self. Now fan those flames. Fan those flames.